Hey there, Todd back here again, Hiking for Health. Once again, back at Round Valley East Bay Regional Preserve. This time we're following the Miwok Trail all the way out to the backside of the park and out of the park, hopefully over to the Los Vaqueros Reservoir. Uh, we're gonna kind of see, it's kind of a wing it day. I have a map for the whole park, so I know that trail and checked online and I know it connects up outside the park and goes to several different places so I want to kind of see how far I can get if I can get to the reservoir and back great so I'm shooting for it's gonna be a long hike shooting for somewhere around 10 miles today but uh, here we are hiking for health I've already seen several brush rabbits a whole bunch of crazy squirrels and one coyote That's not bad so far we've only been in this for a mile so we'll see you down the trail Here we are at the old familiar crossroads. <clears throat> this is the third time I've been to this regional preserve and so third time I've been to this crossroads. Like I say, the main trail that goes through this park is the Miwok Trail and a bunch of stuff splits off of it. So that way, as I said before, is the Hardy Loop Canyon Trail. That way is the Murphy Meadow Trail that also hooks up with the Foxtail Trail. This right here that we're taking is the Miwok Trail. And it goes all the way through the park, all the way to the back boundary and beyond. And that's kind of where we're going today. So last time we were here, I went that way. <clears throat> and that is the Murphy uh, Meadow Trail. That's the Miwok Trail we just came from. And we are gonna stay on the Miwok Trail and head up that way. Because that's gonna take us to the back boundary of the park and out. Um, a little bit different about uh, this particular hike, since um, I'm not 100% sure of the distance. I know it's probably gonna be at least eight, but possibly pushing into 10 miles. Uh, and so that means I'm actually carrying some actual weight in my pack. It's got things in there that usually I'm light on. Usually I'll carry about a liter of water because I know I'm gonna do about five miles or so. So I'll carry a liter of water and usually don't drink all of it and maybe a couple of little snacks like a beef stick and a little thing of cheese or something like that uh, this time just in case because i don't know exactly how long i'll be out on the trail and how many miles i'm carrying two liters of water um, and i've got an actual full meal in my pack um, along with the usual little snacks and stuff so that's uh, added some weight that I usually don't have in the pack because that's kind of how hiking is. It's, it's relevant. If, if you're only doing a few miles, your pack is going to be light. If you're doing more, it's going to be heavier because you have to be prepared for things and have all the right stuff. And uh, I may not even eat the food that's in the pack uh, on the trail. I may, you know, may not even need it. But I've got it if I do because that's kind of important. Be prepared is not, shouldn't just be a Boy Scout motto. It should be just everyone's regular motto. I mean, it just makes sense. So that's what we're doing. We're heading on now 
I think I saw a hill I'm going to have to climb here. And blah. But oh well, I'll do it if I have to. Um, but uh, so far so good. It's been fun. It's a little hotter than I thought it was going to be out here in the quote-unquote East Bay. I know we're on the very rim of the East Bay. This is kind of closer to the Central Valley than the East Bay, but we're still considered East Bay. Um, so I didn't expect it to be as hot as it was already. I mean, it's, you know, a little after 9 o'clock and it's already pretty warm. And I wasn't expecting that kind of heat, but we'll see. We'll keep going. Well, it is official. We crossed through the gate here. That is the Round Valley East Bay Regional Preserve. And this is the Vaqueros, Los Vaqueros Watershed Round Valley entrance. So here we are officially in the Los Vaqueros Watershed, uh, which is a place I've never been to before. So awesome. Here we go. It's yet another adventure. Unfortunately, Los Vaqueros, I do believe, is going to greet me by making me climb a bloody great hill that's coming up here. But it's my understanding that the view when you reach the top of the hill should be nice. I should be able to see the reservoir and all kinds of stuff. So we'll find out. And uh, if I do see it, I'll show it to you. myself together I stopped crying and I got to the top of the damn hill look at that I climbed that if uh you guys could keep the crying thing to you know between us I, I appreciate it you know come on. There's, there's no reason to uh, spread that around but here we are top of that big hill and I am indeed rewarded with the view of the reservoir I see it over there I don't know how clear it comes out on this camera, but yep, Los Vaqueros, there it is, looks cool, that's a nice view, and uh, I'm going to see how close I can get to it, because unfortunately climbing the top of this hill, and then as you can see going back down into the valley where the reservoir is, that means on the way back i got to climb this hill again to get out, whatever, I'll see you later. We're a couple of miles into the Los Vaqueros watershed, and uh, it's kind of nice. I mean, it's kind of like, you know, around Valley. It's got, right now, this time of year, the golden brown grass and the uh, oak trees and all that kind of cool stuff. Um, there's a big sign saying no motor vehicles and no horses beyond a certain point. There's a big gate there that stops anyone but hikers. And yet, almost all the hiking so far has been on this big dirt road. I'm sure this is a fire road and all that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, no, no horses and no cars, but yet the quote-unquote hiking path that I'm on <laughs> is definitely one that would be perfect for horses and cars. I mean, look at it. But uh, pretty cool so far. It's, you know, a little territory that I haven't been to yet, so... I'm hoping to get around this bend and get another view of the lakes. We'll see. I got around the bend and sure enough, I did get a view of the lake. There it is. Very cool. Turkey crossing.
Whew. Well, I've got about three miles left. I'm taking a little break here at the, the little uh, point in the trees here, some nice shade. Uh, I am glad that I did the whole prep thing and carried more water. Uh, I haven't touched the food except for like my snacks. I had a little bit of cheese and a little beef stick there, but um, I don't think I'll actually touch the whole meal that I brought because uh, I'm not really hungry. Um, I kind of ate them just more as a you know, little energy booster. Um, but, uh, you know, I brought with me two liters of water, which is like twice what I normally bring because I was going to walk about twice as much. And like I said, I've got three miles left and I have half a liter. I've uh, drunk the rest of it because uh, it's hot. It's, it's uh, quite a bit of the part, part of it, not just that it's hot. I mean, this is nice right now. This is comfortable. I could sit here all day. And just love it the shade is perfect these oak trees are fantastic but um walking out towards the reservoir that's almost all just wide open ground you're, you're on a big service road basically it's not a hiking trail it's a big service road um you know fire road or whatever and um it's just there's no cover there's no shade and on a hot day like today you're just feeling the heat perspiring lots so uh yeah so i'm down to half a liter of water um but i've got three miles left and it's mostly smooth through the rest of the miwok trail here at the very end there's that one last hill to climb but after the one i just did oh yeah that one's i can do that one uh <laughs> holy mackerel um uh so i should be just just fine um it's been cool. Uh, I've seen some some wildlife. Uh, tried to get as much of it on camera as I could, but I mean, this stuff is hard. The coyote, I saw a coyote, which I think is kind of rare. I know they're here, um, but in the daytime, you usually don't see them. But he was a lone little skinny guy wandering around up in the trees. Uh, so I don't really know if it came out right on camera, but, uh, but I tried to get some shots of him. But that was kind of cool, see a coyote and uh, uh, lots of turkeys. Um, uh, saw some interesting prints that kind of look like cat prints, but they were too small for mountain lion, which I know can be in this area. So I don't know if there's a smaller cat in this area, like a bobcat style in this area. I'll have to research it and look it up, but it looked like little cat prints. Um, and they are different from, from coyote prints and stuff, so, but, uh, yeah, good stuff so far. And I'm gonna take a little break here in the shade for a minute and then get the last three miles done and uh, this has been cool I'm gonna end up getting exactly 10 because I turned around right at five miles the, the pretty much the edge of the reservoir um, is right at five miles turned around and so by the time I get back to uh, the parking lot I should be right around 10 a little over 10 so that's pretty darn good for a day I usually try and get that in in a week and guess what? I'm going to do more because I, I did like four earlier this week, a couple of days ago at Consumnus uh, River Preserve. And uh, and now I've done this one. So I'm going to have pretty close to 15 miles for the week. That's pretty cool. <sighs> so I'll see you later. Hi. Oh uh, yeah, you hear that? That's called maximum air conditioning. Whoa, 10.4 miles, done. Um, and it was hot, the, the last couple of miles. Man, I'm sorry I didn't feel like getting the camera out or I, I was just trudging along. Uh, it was just crazy, the, the, it was just hotter than I thought. Totally went through all of my water. Woo! Um, it was a cool hike. I'm glad I made it out to the all the way out to the lake. That's awesome. Saw some kind of cool wildlife today. Um, some of the usual stuff you see around here, then a couple other things that you don't usually see. And, uh, so successful hike, but man, that took it out of me. It really did. That was that was a long one, and it was hot. It was hot. So it makes me feel proud. At the same time, it does illustrate just how much farther I have to go with uh, training. You know, if 10 miles like this uh, knocks me on my butt, 
I need more training. Got to get rid of more of this. Um, and that's, that's that's the whole point. I'm doing it. So, uh, but that was a cool hike. <sighs> but air conditioning is nice. Yeah. All right. Whoo. Uh, so that's about it. This should be a shorter hike report because a lot of what I hiked in is stuff I've been through before. So I didn't really film it. You know, uh, I, I got pictures and some stuff on some of the new stuff that I went through, and we'll talk about that when I get it edited. But other than that, hey, I hope you liked it. And, I'm going to sit in this AC while I drive home, and then when I get home, I'm going to have a Dr. Pepper or a pineapple soda or something to treat myself because I burned over 4,000 calories. And, and then I'm just going to like veg for a little while in the afternoon. Holy mackerel. See you guys later.